Hi! Welcome to Matthew TV, ang YouTube channel na puno ng positivity. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the top 10 features that I've been using in the Google Nest Mini. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. Feature number one, the Google Nest Mini is the heart of my smart home system. Ito talaga yung number one reason kung bakit ako bumili nito is para makontrol yung smart devices in my home. So there are different smart plugs, smart bulbs that I've purchased para makontrol ko yung different appliances in my home. For example, here's my Google uh, Mini. Hey Google, turn on the electric fan. Alright, turning on the bedroom electric fan. Hey Google, turn off the bedroom fan. Sure, turning the bedroom electric fan off. Cool. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Sorry, I don't understand. Okay. Hey Google, turn off the bedroom light. Hey Google, turn the bedroom light on. Hey Google, turn the bedroom light to blue. Turn the bedroom light to bright white. Pwede mo rin madim yung mga light using the Google Home and change the color of the smart bulb. So actually, this one is a lamp lang from Ikea. But I was able to install a smart bulb that I found in Lazada um, after I installed it. So you were able to... <laughs> transform this uh, lamp into a smart lamp um, using uh, Google Nest uh, Mini. So, it's really a good buy. You know, transforming everything in your home to a smart home. Kahit yung electric fan, smart appliance na rin siya. You can even control the different um, appliances through the Google Home app. And if, let's say, you're outside and you can monitor the different appliances in the Google Home system, in your phone. So just in case that, hmm, napatay ko ba yung ilaw sa kwarto? Or may nangiwan ba ako nakasaksak? So those are key items for you to also check. One of the great things about the Google Home system is that you'll be more aware of the different appliances that can still be turned on in your home. Um, especially if all of the items in your home have the smart plugs. Para to give you an idea kung anong itsura ng mga smart plugs, let me get one for you. So here's an example of a smart plug. Yeah, and so this one connects to the Wi-Fi in your home. And every time you give a command, ito yung uh, ina-activate ni Google kung yung on or off niya. Alright? Another key feature that I use in the Google Nest Mini is, you know, checking the weather or the house traffic. Siyempre, here in Manila, di ba, medyo traffic and all that. So first, let's try it out. Hey Google, what's the weather today? Right now in Mandaluyong, it's 29 and mostly cloudy. The forecast tonight is around 27 and partly cloudy. Hey Google, how's the traffic in EDSA? There's moderate traffic on Epifanio de los Santos Avenue, Metro Manila. It's slower than usual. Okay, so what's good about um, Google compared to the other smart speakers in the market right now is the Google system overall because it has a bigger reach or a bigger search system compared to the others. Um, so they don't have that uh, network or they don't have that search engine like Google. It also has different data in terms of the local traffic routes here in Manila compared to the other smart speakers that are available out there. So I think that's one of the plus side of having the Google speaker. The fourth feature is you can actually use your Google Nest Mini as a timer or an alarm. So this is actually good for those moms who are baking or cooking. Let's say you, know, you want to cook pasta and you know for it to be al dente, you need to really follow the instructions in the packaging. Let's say you want to, um, it has to be cooked for five minutes. You can actually tell Google the, to set a timer. So, hey Google, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, and that's starting now. So, 
starting now until 5 minutes and that's the time that you can actually pull out the pasta or you can circle back to, to Google uh, hey, hey Google, how many more minutes till the timer is done? T minus 4 minutes and 29 seconds Or you can use Google Nest Mini as an alarm clock Hey Google, set an alarm for 11 a.m. Tomorrow at 11 a.m. Set. It's as easy as that and you can also view your alarms in your Google Home app so that you can see you know, what are the different um, alarms that are lined up for tomorrow or for the following days. The top 5 feature that I mostly use in the Google Nest Mini is creating lists. And one of those lists is the grocery list. So let's say you remember something you want to buy in the grocery, you can just say, hey Google, add potatoes in the grocery list. Sure, I added potatoes. Add soy sauce. Okay, soy sauce on your list called grocery. Anything else? Add vinegar. All right, vinegar, what else? Add pork. Pork. Got it. What else? Garlic. Alright. Garlic. Your list is updated. So there. So it's easy. And you can actually go to um, the app and see all of things that uh, you need to buy when once you're in your grocery store. And you can just actually ask uh, Google to repeat it. Hey Google, what's in my grocery list? You have seven things on that list. They're garlic, pork, vinegar, soy sauce, potatoes, and two others. See? Number six is you can actually use your Google Nest Mini as a productivity tool. You can set your different reminders on some of the important stuff that you need to do. So, for example, hey Google, remind me to call mom tomorrow. Got it. Call mom. This will be for tomorrow. At what time? At 12 noon. Got it. I'll remind you tomorrow at noon. Hey Google, what's on my calendar? There are two entries for this week. On Tuesday at 8 a.m., you have <laughs> On Thursday at 8 a.m., you have condo association dues. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, I was able to create some reminders for myself on things that I needed to do. And being in the Google system, apart from the Google Home, it, the Google Nest Mini also has access to your um, Google account. So for this case, um, it was able to access my own calendar that my association juice for my condo is already due by Thursday. So it's a great system. Yeah, further increasing your um, productivity by one reminder at a time. Top feature number seven, you have the power of the Google search engine in your hands and you don't have to type a button. You just have to say the word. For example, um, hey Google, who is Vice Ganda? According to Wikipedia, Jose Marie Borja Bisrol, professionally as Vice Ganda, is a Filipino comedian, television presenter, actor, and singer. He was a regular host judge on AppCBN's new time variety show at Showtime and has starred in several films, eight of which are considered to be the highest grossing in Philippine cinema. Hey Google, what's the um, square root of 20,700. Here's a summary from Wikipedia. In mathematics, a square root of a number x is a number y such that y squared equals x. In other words, a number y whose square is x. For example, 4 and minus 4 are square roots of 16 because 4 to the power of 2 equals squared equals 16. So you can actually ask um, the Google Nest Mini anything and yeah. Top feature number 8 is music streaming. Considering that this one is a smart speaker, definitely it's the main feature. And considering it's a second generation, mas, mala mas malakas yung base niya compared to the first generation ng Google Home Mini. Hey Google, play copyright free music. Sure, playing the album royalty free music and copyright free music full commercial license pack 3 on Spotify. <laughs> so 
overall, um, the quality, the bass of the sound that you'll be able to hear from the Google Nest Mini is actually nice and clear and crisp. So totally recommending it in terms of if you need a streaming speaker, a smart speaker, you know, this is really one of the top-notch uh, speakers in the market right now. The ninth feature that I use is Kaya minsan madaling mawala yung phone natin. Hala, saan kaya napunta yung phone ko? Naiwan ko ba sa sala? Naiwan ko ba sa kwarto? Naiwan ko ba sa living room? Problem solved. Kapag nakasync ang phone mo, sasabihin mo lang, Hey Google, where's my phone? Okay, your phone should be ringing now. So, here's the phone. So for Android devices, the Google Home system will actually just make your phone ring. Tapos, mas madali mo nang mahahanap yung phone mo. You won't have a hard time looking for your phone and you can easily find it. And the last feature is asking Google fun questions like, Hey Google, when is your birthday? I was launched in 2016, but Google celebrates its birthday on September 27th. So maybe we can share. Hey Google, can you sing for me? Wash, wash, wash your hands for 40 seconds, please. So we'll chase the germs away so you don't cough and sneeze. A minute more. Hey Google, stop. So very timely, relevant din pa lang kay ni Google. Hey Google, do you have a love life? Did you hear the story about the lonely vampires who after years of heartache and rejection met and got married on the same night? It was love at first bite. <laughs> there, so those are the top 10 features that we use in the Google Nest system. Pero mas marami pang features na kayang gawin ng Google Nest Mini. And if you were to ask me, I really recommend for you to buy it. You know, just because of the smart home features. Because if you're gonna buy different smart home plugs, different smart home bulbs, you know, marami pa kasing mga different uh, smart home devices. Like, there's a smart home device that can actually pull up your blinds, a smart home device that can monitor the temperature of your house and can activate your aircon system, a smart home device can lock, that can lock your door, can monitor if your door is open. Those different devices come along. It can come from different providers. And, you know, you need a system that can actually integrate those different smart home devices. And why not the most affordable and the most reliable for me is Google. And I think you're gonna get your money's worth specifically. You're gonna get the Google Nest Mini as the heart of your smart home system. And that's the end of the video. I hope that I was able to give you some insights in terms of the Google Nest Mini. If you have some comments, please leave it in the comment section below. Again, this is Matthew David, na nag ng isang kasamihang. If you believe in yourself, you will be unstoppable. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks guys for watching. Bye!